<laughs> hey family, how's it going? What's up with it? How are you guys? What? Hey, hey auntie, where you been? It's the new year. You ain't came through to come check on nobody. Where you been? Family, happy new year. Happy new year. Today is the, uh, what is today? Shit. That lets you know what kind of morning I'm having. I know today is Tuesday, but I don't know. Is it the 10th? I think it's the 10th. Anyway, needless to say, I forgot to add my little whoop wop, so I'm going to do this while I'm, you know what I'm saying, talking to y'all or whatever. But I need to get me some oil up in my little diffuser right here. So, what y'all been up to? You know, it's been a long holiday season. I ain't been on, you know what I mean? I haven't been on here in a minute. So it's going to be a minute. We're going to catch up. We're going to talk some shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is what's happening. Um, as you guys seen on um, Facebook, um, baby took me to my favorite spot and bought me all kinds of shit. And when I tell you, look at all my little oils right now. I got all kind of, I got, I'm oiled out the game. Okay. So, um, I'm trying to figure out what we going, what we going to diffuse right quick. Might need a little sage. I don't know. We about to diffuse some shit so we can post up and chill and kick it. Okay. Let's do some. Um, let's see, we got sandalwood, we got sage, we got dragon's blood, cherry vanilla, china musk, African musk, plumera, more dragon's blood, more franken, uh, another frankincense, cause I got two of those, another sandalwood, and a Dior. Oh, and a Chloe at the, right there at the bottom. So, let's do a little... Let's say we do some, uh, let's do some dragon's blood, shall we? Dragon's blood, we shall. Let's do some dragon's blood. So, um, y'all, oh my God, when I tell you y'all, I've been having so much fun. I'm in love. I am truly in love. I'm in love with this man. Incredible fucking man. That is so good to me. This man is so good to me, girls. Oh, my God. It's just incredible. Now, I haven't been on here, but I have been making videos. And I haven't posted those videos, but I need to. You know, just to show you guys what's up, what I've been doing, you know, what kind of fun I've been having, and those things. Um... We've been doing a whole lot of cool shit together over this past weekend. Girls, let me tell you what the fuck happened, okay? Are you ready for this motherfucking shit right here? Okay, so baby calls me. We got through the holiday. Holiday was cool. He had came um, on Christmas Eve, and that was the first time ever that he had came to my house. So he came to my house on Christmas Eve, and he brought two of his sons and they stayed the night with my kids, and we just had, a, we brought Christmas in so cool. And we were back here in my boudoir, and man, we were sipping on some old, some brandy and some eggnog, and it was on some mistletoe shit, and it was just so cool. And our kids are just so cool together, and our kids, so they parallel each other. Girls, when I tell you our lives together is just the coolest thing ever, I just never, ever thought, you know? I mean, I prayed for this. I prayed for this time in my life, but I just didn't know, you know, when it would happen. Um, all I knew is I was patient with the process. And so I had prayed um, for him. I prayed to God um, to bring me a man that's going to love me as much as he loved him. Um, that's also going to, uh, you know, sh um, show some form of guidance um, to my children. Um, that's going to care about my well-being. 
And I got me one. Now, mind you, he's a little Kanye. He got a little Kanye in him. You know what I mean? Because this motherfucker, I mean, he will go smooth the fuck off. I mean, he right there to the point like, hey, look, check this out. This, 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 this. I mean, he's one of them now. Let me just be crystal clear with it. But when I tell you that this man truly loves and cares about me deeply, I truly believe that. And I know this. This is what I do know, okay? It's no question, you know, about um, whether or not um, he loves me or what it is that he feels for me because it's so profound. And, man, he's just, he's just, he just has a beautiful soul. It's a namaste type of thing. And we just mesh well. And, man, we're, we're two earth signs. And we just, we just, we cool. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, we are hella fucking cool. You know, we went to Vegas. You guys are going to see that video. Um, we went um, to Universal Studios um, during the Christmas time because I wanted to see uh, Grinchmas. So, um, we went to Nasberry Farm. Um, we uh, did a lot of beaches and going to the piers. I did videos on those. And what else did we do this past weekend? Um, check this out, girls. Y'all ready for this shit? Those of you guys that follow me on my um, social networks, you guys have already seen it already. But look, check this out. How about he calls me up Wednesday of last week. And he says, baby, I have a surprise for you. I want you to come over. Mind you, he lives in Los Angeles. He doesn't live in my town. So I was like, babe, what's up? I was like, okay, it's in the middle of the week. What's going on? You know, and see, the kids were out of school all, you know, my kids just went back to school yesterday. So the kids was out for like three weeks. Um, so Keith Sweat has residency in Vegas. I'm, I'm, I'm missing it. I'm not even hearing it, so I don't know where he's at. But to my understanding, he has residency in Vegas. So, yeah, we're going to be in Vegas. we going to go and check that shit out. But where? I'm trying to hear. Hold on, family. The Flamingo. Okay, there we go. I wanted to get that part. And so, um, but yeah, so he calls me and tells me that he wanted me to come over. And, and I was like, okay, babe, what's going on? I'm like, just impromptu. He was like, no, babe, I, I got a surprise for you. I, I want you to come over. Girls, when I get there, he takes me upstairs and open up the, one of the bedroom doors. And I go in there and it was simply everything that I am. And my routines were in that room. When I tell you my baby bought us another sauna, he got a full-fledged sauna in there. I posted the pictures and showed you guys because we was all in there necking and shit. And, uh, but he had bought us a sauna. He, he has a sauna in there. He has a water fixture in there and different diffusers and oil burners and a whole gang of incense. And, oh, my God, a lava lamp. And just, I mean, just so many cool shit, so much cool shit that's here in my room. And it's like, man, I was just, I was blown back. Do you understand me? I was completely blown back because when I'm at his house, and I'm like, babe, man, I want us to get in the sauna. Because, you know, when he was here, man, he was in the sauna every day. And he was here for like, okay, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Then we took the boys home. And then we came back to my house Christmas night. Because he took the boys home so they could be with their mom. Flamingo, January 17th through February 4th. Okay, Flamingo, cool. Me and baby might have to come check uh, Keith out. And so, um, so, we took the kids back home, and then we came back here, and we stayed here for a few days, and then we were going to Vegas there after that because we spent the new year bringing it in in Vegas. And, oh, my God, we was just having, we was just, 
oh my God, we have so much fun together. It's just incredible. And I just want to share that um, with you guys. Um, and I hadn't really posted. I know that I hadn't, but, you know, it's just been a, a downer, a dampening on the, on the mood here. Well, for me. Um, and I had been feeling that, feeling a dampening for some time. And actually, for me, I guess I kind of fell off or dialed down after the election. The election just really fucked me up. I mean, like, for real. I mean, I just, I just, you know, the election fucked me up. Let's just be clear with it. You know, because for me, I just, you know, wow. I'm not going to get into the election thing, but the election thing is what fucked me up, like, totally. And I just, I bottomed out. And my faith was, you know, my my faith was in question with a lot of uh, decisions that people make. I was really thinking about, like, wow, we are really living in a world divided, you know. I, I was just like, wow. So, I was like, you know, and then, too, I was, you know, in the, you know, well, still in the beginning stages of, of a relationship. So, I just kind of turned into that. And um, I began to be more in tune with what was going on here with my house and my children and my man. And I just kind of was like, okay, let them do them. You know what I'm saying? Let them do them. It really fucked me up, you know? And I was like, wow. And then as the holidays begin to progress, November is always a hard month for me because that's the month that I lost both of my parents. And so... uh you know, it was, it's kind of rough every time. And my mom died and Kanye's mom died the next, the very next day. And so when he went on his 51, I totally was, I was like, wow, I understand because, you know, I was just, I just wasn't, I wasn't totally myself. You know what I mean? It was like, I was just out of sync. I was just, Wow, and but baby was in there. He was so in tune with me, you know. He was just, you know, it was it was it was a really it was a cool time. It was a close time that I needed, um, and um, so it was it was it, I, I made it through, and then to come out of Thanksgiving time and then to, to roll into the Christmas time, um, he and I we were still doing a whole bunch of things. The kids were preparing to go off of. For Christmas break, and my kids were off for like three weeks, and so, um, you know, I was basically Uber, you know, taking this kid to work, this kid to work, picking this kid up, take take picking this kid up, and you know, so I was doing a lot of that, and also spending time with him, and then um, when I got the word of Kiana's passing around Christmas, it just really fucked me up because. Days before Christmas, I was like, oh, my God, it's like an unsettling in my spirit, babe. What's wrong? He was like, baby, what's wrong with you? I was like, I don't know. I don't I don't know. It's like something is going on. You know, something was just really, really unsettling in my spirit the week of Christmas. And I was like, I don't know. So I started doing checks on you know, my nearest and dearest calling and making sure everybody's okay. Are you guys okay? Is everybody fine? You know, because um, days before that, between the 21st and Christmas Eve, I was really going through different type of emotions that I did not understand. And I was like, oh my God, I, I had felt a loss. Like, you know, something unsettling in my spirit. It was like, whoa. And then to get the the the, the word that um, Tiana had passed, it really just oh my god! It 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 it, it affected me. It affected me more than I thought that it ever would. If that makes sense, um, you know. And I got a lot of uh, messages from you guys from all over the world, you know. And though her and I were, you know, we shared a friendship back then and then you know things just kind of went south and but yet and still I still had a respect for her even though you know whatever was going on with her and but to hear that she had passed it was like 
Because for a minute, it was like, you know what I'm saying? She was Cool Mo D and I was LL Cool J. You know what I'm saying? She was Roxanne Shantae and I was the real motherfucking Roxanne, you know? So it was like, man, when I got this word, I was like, oh my God. Because it was always uh, something there, you know? And um, I guess it was something that her and I both kind of understood and knew even, uh, you know, beyond her following or mine, you know, uh, it was a lot of words unspoken uh, between us. And, um, you know, it was just, it was just kind of crazy. It was just wild, man. It was wild. So when baby was like, okay, well, let's just get away. Let's go to Vegas. Let's just, you know, I understand, you know, what you're going through, but you know, my baby is a cutthroat ass motherfucker. He like, okay, you need to get over this right here. You need to get over this right here. Get over it. You know, get over it, baby. Get over it. It ain't you. It ain't you. Get over it. Everybody ain't going to dig Tina. You know what I mean? Everybody ain't going to dig you, mama. And some people just ain't going to want to ever be your friend. Or some people ain't going to never, you know, this and this and this. So he was like, get over it. Let's go to Vegas. Let's go and hang out and let's go eat some cool shit. Let's go smoke on some bomb ass shit. Let's have some of the best sex ever. And let's just go blow some money and have some fun. So we did that. And oh my God, we had so much fun. So I'm going to share that. Um, I've got to put that video together and um, share that with you guys on how our Vegas trip went. But man, so Saturday... Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, I got there, and um, and so he surprised me with my own room of goodies, and it's like a little, small, little bourgeois. I mean, I don't have a refrigerator in there, but I got everything else in there that just, I could just go in there and just kick it. I mean, it's just, man, he got some plants in there um, that I like, and just, it's just so cool. I mean, man. So, thank you, baby. I mean, you blew me back with that shit. I mean, I was like, wow. You know, you really fucking blew me back. So, um, Saturday, we got up and we had cryo treatments. Okay, now mind you, Friday we went and got colonics. Okay, because it was like, okay, start of the new year. You know, let's go through a cleansing ritual. Let's cleanse our bodies, our mind, bodies, and spirit. You know, let's align our chakras and... You know, let's just, you know, let's just get on one. And so, uh, we already started off with colonics and cryo. And so, we're, we're getting, um, hypnotized. We're doing that. And we're both doing it together. So, you know, I'm going to take, I want to take his segment and he's going to take mine. And so, we're going to do that. And so many other things that, you know, we just... We're just on the same accord with that. I don't know if it's the fact that, you know, we're birth, both earth signs or what, but we just be in tune with that. You know, like, we be driving, I be like, babe, I want to hug that tree right there. You know, and he ain't tripping. He's like, okay, well, shit, hold on, let me bustle you right quick, you know. And so, um, so yeah, so we just have fun, man. We went and got that cryo treatment, and that was his first time ever. And at this cryo treatment place, um, instead of it being the big silver tube that you usually get in, this was like a portable one, which had us blow back. Cause I was, so I was like, baby, that means we can get one for the house. He was like, hell yeah. You know, so he got to talking to her about, you know, this, this, and this, you know, how we can get one of these at my house. You know, and so, but the thing is, of course, they have to come deliver the nitrogen because it's what's being infused is nitrogen and so she was saying that that's the only thing is the fact that you know you got to get the nitrogen but man um it's a few people actually have their own cryos in their house um kobe bryant fellow virgo being one of them got his whole get down sauna room steam room cryo yellow room this room that room. yes yes his shit is oh my god his shit is so filleted out and sick to death him um I'm going to tell you another one that got a badass pad and got everything in that motherfucker. Okay, I'm going to have to, no, no other than my Capricorn homeboy, Tyrese. That nigga got a Benny Hunters in his motherfucking house. He got his own nightclub. He has a, all his own cleaners, okay? His own studio. 
I mean, I mean, wow. And his backyard is such an oasis. It's just beautiful. He has this circular um, sitting area. You know, and it's like, man, we had all the little hookahs and shit out. We was blowing like a motherfucker. Cool as shit. And it's all around a little pool area, and it's like round, okay? And it has like a um, a, a fire pit like in the middle, so everybody is sitting like in this big-ass, huge circle, right? But it's like it would be like maybe, how many people can fit up in here? I don't know, maybe six, seven couples. And it's like, man, hookahs and shit everywhere. And motherfuckers just blowing and kicking and just parlaying, you know. I mean, this shit is so fucking tight, you know. And so, you know, a lot of people are just really plushing out their pads and having really extraordinary shit at their houses. And it's like, man, I'm just, I'm just happy to be amongst, you know, some of the coolest that's doing it like that on that level. It's like, nigga, um, fuck all that other shit on what other motherfuckers is doing. Motherfuckers want to wear... You know, Turkish ropes and all this bullshit and all this shit. Nigga, get your pad plush, you know? When motherfuckers come in the inside of your house, it's like, damn, what do we have here? You know what I mean? That shit, yeah. 